And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. Outside Oakley. Carter with a screen on Davis. Oakley dishes to Carter. A putback. It's good on the putback. Oakley's got the first points to start out the third quarter for the Raptors. He is absolutely a wrecking ball on the offensive board. Charles Oakley crashing with a lot of force. Jackson passes to Davis. He kicks it to Mullen. Fires the three. And that's collected by Willis. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Brown finds Carter. Comes up empty down low. Indiana leading by 19 points. Miller outside. Carter pulls it in. Toronto they've gone one of three since starting the second half. Some nice ball movement here by the Raptors. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. A focal point of this offense, Carter knows exactly how to find ways to get himself to the line. This is his first trip to the line tonight. How about up over the 80% mark from the line last year? So he's happy and also consistent there with those numbers. Indiana's gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. It's Jackson with the drive. It's stolen by Willis. Carter up top, defended by Mullen. The kick out to Brown. Willis with a screen on Jackson. Brown the pass to Willis. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Willis has got his third basket of the night. And showing off that elite strength. Willis is said to be able to bench press upwards of 400 pounds. Outside Mullen. To the middle. It's deflected. Like at six. Takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the way up. Mullen's got 10 points. And, and Mullen isn't deterred by the defense. When, when he's got position inside, he's incredible at finishing oversized. Now, here's Brown. To the inside. Oakley misses. And it's Jackson with the ball, bringing it up for Indiana. Earlier in the game, they held a 25-point lead. Raptors trail by 17. Carter left side. Outside Oakley. Back to Carter. That shot off. Indiana leading by 17. Mullen with the ball. He's got 10. Here's Smith. Davis kicks to Jackson. Outside, Mullen. Count it. Number five from the floor this game. He's now 5 of 11. And this is where Mullen is most dangerous. A consistent three-point shooter with textbook form. And Vince Carter picks up the foul. That's his first foul. So the Pacers call timeout. Their first of the game. Adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. And you know what? We'll see what changes he makes coming out of this timeout. Smiths. Davis kicks to Mullen. Outside Jackson. Six to shoot. Indiana needs to get a shot off. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. The Pacers have gone six of eight from the free throw line tonight. At the line for your Pacers, Davis. And that one misses. And the second free throw, good. Toronto calls timeout. Yeah, if 
things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. And you know what, guys? If for nothing else, just to slow things down a little bit, change it up somewhat. Here we go. Trail by 21. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. He's made one and this one so far in the game. First free throw is good. Two shots. And Brown drops them both. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. Jackson passes to Smith. High post, Davis. Jackson against McGrady. Jackson kicks to Mullen. Davis with a screen on Brock. Outside, Mullen connects from three-point range. Mullen's got 16. He's found his rhythm from deep, and, and you can see the confidence. Yeah, I'd be confident, too, as a matter of fact. I mean, if you're stacking up threes the way he is, I mean, he's doing all his work from behind the arc. And Davis pulls it down. Pacers leading by 22. Here's Miller. Christie with the rebound. Christie's got his fourth rebound in this one. There's the feed to McGrady. It's rebounded by Indiana. Davis has got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. Miller, no up. Toronto shooting 38% from the field. A pretty weak showing for them. A shot by McGrady, no good. Boy, he has to put that one away. A solid opportunity. Gone a rock. And the next one puts him in the bonus. Yep, they'll be trying to draw that next foul quickly so they can start getting those easy chances at the strike. Now here's Jackson. He's got 13. This is it to Mullen. Here's Davis. Here's Smits. And the layup is good. Smits has got his second bucket tonight. You know, given his size, it makes a lot of sense to feed Smits down low. Really good execution there. Brown inside. Now the pass to Christie. And stolen by Miller. He feeds it to Davis. Stolen. One on one fast break. Here's McGrady and a strong finish with two hands. Really a big part of his game. Christie finding the open man here. And so it's Jackson who brings it up for the Indiana Pacers. Earlier in the game, they held a 25 point lead. Davis has checked in for Indiana. Team foul. Substitution on the court. against Jackson. Yeah, that, that's got them over the limit with a lot of time still left. They're going to have to tone it down or they may end up giving up a lot of free throws. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Pacers. Well, you know, they've been tremendous, I think, when it comes to sharing the basketball. You know, getting guys involved on the plays and creating offensive opportunities for everybody. Equal opportunity offense is fun to watch. And we also got to highlight how lackluster the opposition has been in terms of boxing out. This team is flat out bullying them on the offensive class and giving up some inches inside, but makes up for it with an aggressive style. Yeah, you know, with that size difference, that's not an easy shot. I mean, I don't care how close to the rim he is. That's a tough shot. There's the pick. Pass to Davis. Mullen against Carter. Here's Smith. 
Bank shot, no good. Toronto shooting just 33% in the second half so far. They need to look at more high quality shots. Williams passes to Willis. Back to Williams. To the paint. Raptors moving the ball around. And there's the whistle. Three second violation. Checking in for Toronto. Number 35. Legend Slater. Indiana leading by 22. Now here's Jackson. He's got 15. Pass to Smith. Miller outside. Four on the clock. And you can see he just didn't get squared up with his feet. Those are always tough to judge, but I think the official got that one right. He's gone three for four from the line. And that one falls for Jackson. Both free throws good from Jackson. Raptors shooting around 40% from the floor here. Pass to Christie. Down low, Carter. Mullen with the defensive effort. Here's Indiana. They're on a 15-6 run. Miller, no luck. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falling. And, you know, you can sense his frustration. This is going to be a test of his resolve here. And Vince Carter picks up a foul. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus. And we'll go to the line to shoot two. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. First one falls for him. One of the most lethal shooters in the game, Mullen. Well known for being able to fill it up and quickly. Some changes for Toronto. McGrady comes in for Oakley. And Wallace subbed in for Christie. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Here's Williams. And the layup's good off the glass. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. Raptors foul. Alvin Williams. First trip to the line for him here. At the line for two. Travis Best. And the first one at the line is good. He's perfect from the line this time. Toronto shooting just 33% in the second half so far. They need to look at more high quality shots. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. McGrady outside. That one, no good. Mullen with the defensive effort. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Tracy McGrady. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. And due to the bonus, we will head to the line for two. On the night, he's gone two for two at the stripe. And he knocks down the first one. And the Raptors making a change here. Williams has checked in. And Mullen drops them both. So it's Toronto now. McGrady outside. Kicks to Williams. 137 left to play here in the third. And the shot goes in. McGrady's got four points now in the quarter. What muscle from McGrady right there. Brushing off the defense with ease. Here's Best. He's guarded by Williams. Best's shot is good. And you can see the defense broke down there, allowing him to get all the way to the hoop. McGrady against Mullen. Out to Carter. McGrady sets a screen for Carter. Back to McGrady. And stolen by Miller. Puts up a deep three. Rebound by Wallace. Well, most games he can knock it down from deep, but it just isn't there for him in this one. And there's another turnover by the Raptors. And some changes here for the Pacers. Davis comes in for Davis, and it's Rose in for Miller. Williams, he's checked in for Toronto. This has been a one-sided affair. Yeah, they've done a nice job of extending their lead and maintaining that intensity level. Here's Best. 
Eight points for him. Mullen kicks to Rose. Pocket six. Gets the 14-footer to fall. And Rose has really good shot selection. Outstanding at shooting when he's in rhythm. Now here's Williams. D right on him. Wallace outside. McGrady is screen on Davis. Wallace the pass to McGrady. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Oh, the officials are all over that foul. Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give him any choice but to blow the whistle. I mean, you got to play without fouling. The Pacers making a change here. And he misses the second one as well, so he is 0 for 2 that time. Fires away from outside. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. And so it's Indiana with a massive lead of 30 points here at the end of the quarter. Their defense has been active and effective. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. And so it's Rose bringing it up for Indiana. Gets to the hoop, and Vince Carter picks up the foul. That's his third foul of the game. Fouling like that isn't how you get back in the game. Look to me like just a frustration foul. It really kind of sums up the game they're having in general. Here's Best. He's guarded by Williams. Right side, Rose. Six on the shot clock over Wallace. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. You know, Rose is a very reliable and consistent scorer. He's excellent at feeling out the defense and taking what they give him. Two shots. The first one drops. And Indiana making a change here. McKee's checked in. And so he hits both. The Raptors shooting 40% from the field. Slater guarded by Jackson. Out to Carter. The pass to McGrady. Here's Slater, down to five on the shot clock. Rebound by Rose. Rose has got four rebounds now tonight. Floats one, and he sinks the layup. Rose has got four this quarter. And it's all about the release when you shoot the float. McKee against McGrady, and he comes up with the deuce. McGrady. We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. Rose in the post. Harder on him. They've been undisciplined defensively, getting themselves into foul trouble far too early. Into the lineup for Indiana. Number 20, Fred Hoiberg. Raptors on defense. It's Davis on the wing. Rose scanning the floor. And it's slammed in by Davis. And doesn't get any higher percentage-wise than that. Davis powering it home with some authority. Carter outside. And the foul on Rose. That'll be his second foul of the game. Knights checked in for Williams. First team foul. Substitution for Toronto. Number 11. A little over a minute and a half of the fourth quarter gone now. Here's Wallace. Shot clock at six. Carter with it. Guarded now by Jackson. And then Carter with the dunk. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then, Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Boy, picture-perfect teamwork that time, guys. One guy sacrificing for the other. That's how you succeed in this league. 
Here's Best. He's guarded by Knight. And the dunk by Rose. Wow. Look at the vertical on Rose. Raptors have gone two of three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. The Pacers pull it in. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Jackson and Jackson throws it down home. Seems to have a knack for hitting guys in their spots. His vision, excellent. Carter down low. Pass to Slater. There's the dish to Wallace. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. And that's almost automatic anytime he can get the ball in that position. Here's Best. He's guarded by Knight. Rose against Wallace. Inside. And it's Davis finishing it off. You have to love the unselfishness on display there. Excellent pass. The Raptors have gone three of five here in the fourth quarter. Pretty good numbers coming out of the break. Rose against McGrady. The Pacers pull it in. Rose has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Raptors shooting around 41% on the night. McGrady passes to Slater. Good ball movement here by the Raptors. Here's Wallace. McGrady outside. Driving in. Some solid defense there from Jackson. For Indiana, they've gone five of six from the field to start the fourth quarter on a roll. Here's Best. Baker with a jumper from the elbow. And so Knight will bring it up for the Toronto Raptors. McGrady against Rose. Looking to get it going. A shot by McGrady, no good. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Tracy McGrady. That's his fifth foul. McKee's checked in for Indiana. Substitution on the court. Here's Indiana. They're on a 14-6 run. Here's Best. And once again, off the mark by Indiana. The Raptors shooting in the fourth quarter has looked shabby. 38%. Christie kicks to Oakley. Carter outside. A shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. When you think Vince Carter, dunking is probably the first thing that comes up. But Vince is also someone who can be a first option. Tremendously talented. He hits the second from the line. For Indiana, they've gone six of eight from the field in the fourth so far. It's been a great start to this final quarter for them. Here's Jackson. And Willis pulls it down. Willis has got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Christie. Goes back up. He takes it up and lays it in. With the rock inside, hey, Willis has one thing on his mind. Let's go to work. Best passes to McKee to the left wing from about 16. Here's Jackson, and they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. How frustrating for the defense. You get the stop, but then fail to block out. Well, you know, that's the way it's going to be for them today, fellas. Can't sustain any momentum. A free throw drops for Jackson. The Raptors have gone 4 of 10 here in the final period. Not the time to go cold. Brown the pass to Willis. Stolen by Jackson. Here's the teardrop. And the layup is up and in. Best's got four points this quarter. Given the size disadvantage, you have to have a lot of confidence to take that shot. And you know what? He does. I mean, in the NBA, you've got to have ways to score over defenders of all sizes. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. Brown against Rose. Over Carter. And it's Rose missing. The Raptors have gone 5 of 11 from the field in the fourth quarter. 
Here's Christie. Rebounded by McKee. And Vince Carter picks up the foul. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. And due to the bonus, we will head to the line for two. At the line for two. Derek no good on that one. Sam Perkins, he's checked in for Jackson. Good on the second free throw. Here is Carter. Round inside, guarded by McKee. Carter, the pass to Willis. And really just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. Heads up action there. Reading the play and then beating him to the spot. Well done. The Pacers making a change here. Jackson's checked in. Rose, a screen on Christie. Best passes to Rose with the fadeaway. Toronto grabs the miss. You know what? Just a little fancy on that possession there. Just go up in the deep. And finished off by Brown. Oakley's such a good all-around team first guy. Setting up a shooter with a nice pass there. The Pacers have gone 8 of 14 from the floor here in the fourth quarter. Jackson with the screen. Outside Rose. Pass to Perkins. Yes, and it's Rose with the assist that time. Perkins uses a mixture of size and agility to outsmart the defense when he's inside. Down kicks to Willis. He dishes it to Carter. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. First personal foul. Third team foul. First free throw is good. Vince Carter taking two shots. Vince Carter hits them both. And it's Rose with the ball for the Pacers. Let's it go from the wing. It's hauled in by Oakley. Oakley's got nine rebounds now tonight. Christie the pass to Brown. Feeds it to Oakley. And he drops it in from the low post. Textbook. Nice pass. Great catch. Even better finish. Here's Best, defended by Christie. Passes it to Jackson. Right side Davis. Here's Rose. An easy two points on the layup. Well, how about the perseverance there? The extra effort on that offensive glass. For Toronto, they've gone through the fourth quarter shooting 50%. 7 of 14. Carter dishes to Brown. Here's Willis. Off target at the rim. Raptors foul call. Kevin Willis. Third personal foul. At the line for Indiana. Antonio Davis. And he makes the first. Just look at the score differential in this one. I mean, a truly commanding and dominant performance here for the Pacers. And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, an all-around dominant performance. And you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. Yeah, there was a sense of that in, in men. They, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. A clinic was put on display here today. And so with this, they'll end up with their second win on the year. And in what should be an exciting four-game season series between these two teams, they have to feel great about taking this first one against the Raptors. Brown shot is good. And the combination of his quickness and soft touch around the rim really allows him to pull off shots like that. A lot of players don't have the reverse in their arsenal. And that one, good. 
And credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. Yeah, what a time to put the hammer down. Any hope of a comeback diminished. Here's Best, defended by Carter. Best passes to Rose. I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was just there a little late. Yeah, it looked like it. I mean, he kind of slid underneath as he got to the spot, too. At the line for your Pacers, Jalen Rose. Two shots. That free throw, no good. Jackson, he's checked in for the Pacers. And Toronto will go for a different look here. Thomas checked in for Oakland. Wallace comes in for Vince Carter. Tracy McGrady's checked in for Christie. And it's Williams in for Brown. And he sinks the second. 32 seconds left in the fourth quarter. McGrady right side. Outside Williams. Dishes it to Thomas. Clock at six. He kicks to Wallace. Williams with the ball. Picked up by Davis. A shot by Williams. No good. So no problem for Indiana as they get the win. It was a tale of two teams tonight. One that was in total control operating flawlessly. And the other just searching for answers that they could never find. I mean, the energy here is just so tremendous. Fans involved from the get-go. And once they started to really pour it on, it was...